So today I am testing a new surround processor made by Lingdorf, it's called the MP50, this one here. It's basically a preamp, a 16 channel preamp, and um, also it has 16 digital inputs, so you can connect it to your Pro Tools system, but it can also decode all kinds of surround formats like uh, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, but also Oro 3D. And we use that a lot here in the studio, so I wanted to try to connect it to our system. Um, I'll show you the system in a, in a minute. And um, also see what the room perfection mode uh, does. It's called uh, Room Perfect, made by uh, Lingdorf. Well, actually, this room is already perfect, uh, made by Jochen Veit. Um, here in the studio, but still I wanted to see how the setup is for this Room Perfect system. It takes about half an hour, so I won't show it all to you, but a little bit how the setup is made, and maybe we'll see if there's any change in the room and if that's even better than what it is and how it works. I've never tried it before, so we're going to see how it works. The Room Perfect system by Lingdorf. So here in short is the setup. This is the unit. The MP50 by Lingdorf, nice one. Uh, in the back, it has a lot of connections, and as you can see, it's all XOR. So for pro audio, this is perfect, but also for a, for a very good home cinema system. Um, even a mic input, and that's for calibrating. I didn't get the calibration mic, so what I did, I took a very expensive Sono Dore mic from my friend Ronald Trent uh, because it has a power unit and after that you get an XLR out and it can directly fit in this MP50. So here we go to speaker and room setup. Uh, I've calibrated most of the speakers already, well calibrated. They're all uh, in line, they're all leveled and when you go to the room perfect system you can tell which difference every speaker has. If you have a really bad setup with all speakers placed in the wrong places, you can say at what you know, well, at what distance they are and the system would correct it. So the best way to test the system is in a very badly acoustic tuned room, but of course this is not the case here. Uh, but still, uh, run room perfect setup and then it shows you a volume control, so I'll go to, let's say, minus 30. And I say start, and then listen what happens. Ooh. That's in the center. To the left. To the right. To the rear left. And the rear right. Upper left, right, high speaker left, and the high speaker to the right. As you can see, all, oh, and of course, my sub, my BMW. I've used all uh, PMC AML 2s we have here in the studio. Even in, on the top, you have the Voice of God speaker, but actually, that isn't used in this setup. So, it's still tuning the Subwoofer, let me see what the menu shows. Oh, volume level is too high, target level at minus 35. Okay, so this should be better. Oh, let's say retry. So I think we'll get the same one, same thing again. Oh, center channel. take a while. So now left channel, the rear channel is being calibrated and of course you see the screen is not in a perfect situation but well maybe that's a good thing for this test. And then we get the right rear speaker. By the way, the big Ecclestons you see in the back, uh, I don't use them. Uh, I use them, but not for this test, because I want to use the same speakers in the setup for 
Sapporo 3D. So after this rumbling, it's now doing something called focus precision measuring and um, you hear it going around all these places and I think it has to be a little bit more quiet but actually it's quite loud the sound so I don't think it will screw up the measuring. So all this noise is gone and now it says focus precision measurement is done. Please move the microphone to the first random room position then press continue to perform the next measurement. So probably I have to do the measuring at different uh, listening locations and maybe also locations where you will walk or stand. Uh, in this case I will do one or two but you can do like a couple of them if you have a large room with all kinds of troubles. So like a living room. Uh, but of course uh, the listening position is where the mic now is. So I move the microphone a little bit to the back, a little lower. And uh, as you can see it is a large room. Hope you won't get dizzy while we doing this. But you get an idea of where the mic is standing. Okay, another one and then really in the back of the room. Okay, so it tells me room measurement number two is done. Please move the microphone to the next random position, then press continue, perform the next measurement. So room knowledge 70%, so probably one or two measurements will be enough, I think. Let's see. So I put it there really on the side, and as you can see, far from the left speakers. Let's start it. Measurement number four and still the system is not happy yet. Okay, so I brought it over to the front left, really in the corner. I don't know if that's okay for the system, but we'll see. 92%, so almost there. I think one measurement will be enough. So I put it just before the front speaker. Add more, okay, one more. Little higher near the height speakers, and I hope this really is the last one. So that would be the last one, but I got this room measuring error, not saying why. So after an hour of testing and measuring, okay, we have to start all over again. So one hour later and now it worked. Let's listen. Okay, so after six measurements, we see a room knowledge of about 97%. And you can improve that with some extra measurements, but this should be enough to listen to it. And uh, you can add a focus position, so the position where you're listening. So you can change that if you want to. And otherwise you have one focus position and one global position. And of course you can bypass this room perfect. So as I said, um, this room is already perfect. And uh, with the room perfect system, it gets a slightly twist, but not a big difference if you have a bad acoustic room. So in the end it worked fine and it was a little improvement, a little bit more focused and not so much uh, resonance at the focus position, the listening position, but not the big improvement as I was hoping for. Um, but let's see, maybe in a bad room we can get some better results.